This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now at WAM, or I call it WAM, um, hydrogen station. I don't know if you recognize this place. I came here, wait, was it this summer, last summer? I don't remember. With a Mirai, second gen Mirai. And I did 1000 kilometer challenge. It was a bit interesting because I had to come back here and then drive north and come back here because there aren't that many uh, hydrogen stations around here. Um, sorry, <laughs> I had to run for it because I'm actually doing a, um, a challenge right now, but I'm gonna show you guys this. The station now is dead, D-E-D, -E -D. done, D-U-N, it shut down. I'm not sure why I heard about this, you see? The nice sexy second gen Mirai was parked here and I refilled it. Now it has been abandoned. Uh, it's not powered. Um, you don't hear any noises, anything here. I think everything has been shut down. Yeah, this is where the liquid fire, no, the how was it again? Yeah, the compressor, whatever, the deliquification and whatever that used lots of energy, big waste of energy uh, used to operate, but now, it is dead. Why was it shut down? Maybe because almost nobody used it. It was too expensive also, very expensive hydrogen. Uh, it cost, um, how much was it again? 195 nook per kilogram. Oh, it was, yeah, I think it was that. It was very expensive. But I noticed something else. What the heck is this? Um, this is big mystery. And there is a hydrogen car here, abandoned. You can see with the snow that it's been here a long time. Um, an HY, that is hydrogen. Toyota Asken Bärum. I did a lookup. It belongs to some company, RS from Hakkadal or whatever, but I can't say too much about it. But um, I mean, it's out here in the public anyway. Anyone can just come here and look up if they want to. But you can see here that it's Toyota, Mirai, first gen. This is a big mystery. Why is Toyota in abandoned here? Was it because the owner came here expecting to fill up and then out of frustration it's shut down and one does not simply just go to another filling station nearby, unlike fast charger for example you have one fast charger over there you have another fast charger just stain cost una literally there and you can't just simply plug in the hydrogen car at some outlet so the only way to get energy for propulsion is to refill it at the hydrogen station so Maybe the owner could have called a tow truck. Uh, but this car, does not, it's not a press car. It doesn't, uh, um, does not belong to Toyota, supposedly. So I, I don't know, man. It's a funny, uh, I don't, maybe not funny, but uh, it's an interesting story. It's a big mystery. And also, why was it even allowed to park here without getting park ticket by, I don't know, Uno X Wham, for example. They have this, no stopping. You know, this is uh, it's a big mystery. I suspect that maybe the owner, the company that owns this, they are in the circle, so they, they are allowed to park here without getting ticket. But it's a big, sorry, let me get the right light condition. It's a big mystery. And you know, the video I made five years ago, or I don't remember how, when I said that hydrogen is bullshit, it is bullshit, <laughs> trust me. I, look, I was right. Sorry, Mac, I was right. <laughs> People who believe in hydrogen, they were wrong. People told me that, eh, Björn, I like your videos, but you're wrong. See what happened. They shut down this. It wasn't profitable. Probably big, big loss. You know that this station cost roughly 20 million nuktu, 2,000 euros. No, sorry, 2 million euros to build this station. You can build a freaking supercharger site with 40 stalls for that price. <laughs> oh. And then for people who say that, yeah, but hydrogen is not for personal transportation, but for trucks and buses, it makes more sense. Well, can you tell me why 
Unibus, or the company that runs the buses in Oslo. They tried hydrogen, they didn't want it. They went for electric buses, like massive. We're talking about hundreds of electric buses from BYD and uh, VDL and some other, I don't remember. Yeah, they figured out that hydrogen is shit. <laughs> Yeah, I just have to show you guys this. We need to document what the heck is going on because some people are living in a bubble thinking that hydrogen is the future, but it is not the future. It came too late. What you see behind me here, that's the future. Electric cars, even old cars, you know, even this old car can go from A to B. It takes a little bit longer, but it can get there without the help of a tow truck. Mirai over there, it's stuck. Okay, anyway, I'm going to continue with my challenge now, and then you guys can enjoy some popcorn in the comment section. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.